Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Inside Geography with Saad Rahujo. First of all, I am really thankful to all of you who are being following me through this channel and they have been watching my lecture videos and have comments on them. Uh, I have got a risk, good response from the students, so they have an interaction with me uh, through, their, uh, through their text and the comments on my video. So I have got a few suggestions uh, from the students. Uh, they want to have a shortened video because in today's world, it's sometimes it's been difficult to focus or concentrate on the longer videos. So they they are being asking me to go for the go for the uh, shortened videos. One was that suggestion. Another suggestion is that that I need to use the multi uh, multiple languages. So there should be a different languages, particularly the local languages, whenever we need read them. So. Uh, so uh, I am I am putting these two uh, suggestions on the top. As far as the shortened of videos concerned, yes, why not? Uh, you know because this channel is for you, and where we learn the geography and the topics which are related to the geography. So what I'm what I'm going to do uh, from here onward that I will shorten the videos, uh, shorten the lectures. Then I also uh, divide the lectures in different parts. So the student might have a uh, more, I'll say, uh, space to you know to watch those videos. So, because you know, the geography, the most of the topics are so lengthy. So, uh, when I started my channel, so I was giving the lectures like the lectures is being delivered in the class. So, uh, so usually we have a forty to uh, sixty minutes class, but because this is the uh, visual world, so we need to have a short in those videos. So, what I'm going to do. I will, I will, uh, you know, put in those lectures into different or smaller segments. Then I will upload for your, uh, uh, for your concepts. And another, uh, another suggestion is the language. You know, so as far as the language is concerned, you know, these are these videos are for the students of university. So these videos address to the uh, university student, and you know, the English is the you know standard language as in universal language, which is being spoken and understood by almost you know uh, most of the po population of the world so we then we have a, a better way to communicate with other people yes but even then then i will try to you know use the language uh, local languages like urdu sindhi and other languages to further understanding of the students so uh, the today's topic which we're going to discuss is the first lecture by keeping view the suggestion of the students so, the, the lecture, the topic we will discuss today is the uh, lines of latitudes or the longitudes. And you know, everyone is curious to know about how the locations are being determined on, on the globe or in the world. So because people want to know the different location of the different places. So uh, this is the work of the geographer. Uh, you know where uh, the you know the locations are being determined are being found through the lines of latitudes and longitudes. Uh, this is the you know uh, geometrical based on the mathematical calculation uh, where uh, the the location of any place is being fixed uh, with the accuracy. So uh, let's go to the slides and discuss that lecture. And I hope you will understand that it's going to be again very interesting because this is very a uh, common topic everybody everybody wants to know about that so uh, <clears throat> yes so uh, geographic coordinate system actually the lines of latitudes and longitudes are the part of uh, geographical coordinate system what is geographical coordinate system a geographic coordinate system defines the two uh, dimensional coordinate system based on imaginary lines of latitudes and longitudes that cover the entire planet so what it's mean that this geographical coordinate system is based on the lines of latitudes and the longitudes which are imaginary lines so you have you have to keep in mind that these lines which are latitude and longitudes we'll go into the details of these lines but these are the imaginary lines these uh, these lines don't exist in reality in, in, the, in the world, but these lines cover whole planets because our planets is being, uh, what to say, trapped or being, uh, uh, what we having a network of these lines which covers the whole entire planets. So, 
uh, location of different places, regions are measured both on both X and Y coordinate within the grid. The distance between lines vary because the earth is round. This network of interesting line is called the graticules. Actually, if you are looking at this image, this is called the graticule. I look at the, these lines which are being running are being in different direction. They are being covering the whole earth, uh, whole earth which determine not only the location, the same time, the time of different places. So uh, the network of these lines we call the graticules and these are uh, locations are being determined through the X and Y coordinates and those X and Y coordinates are the latitudes and the longitudes. So today we'll discuss about the latitudes and longitudes. Uh, in terms of the location. In another lecture, we will discuss uh, the latitude and longitudes in terms of the time. So uh, what, what does it mean by the latitudes? Latitudes are imaginary lines which run east to west. They are also called parallel because they are not only parallel to the equator but uh, to one another also. So these are the latitudinal lines which run from east to west or from west to east and they are parallel. You look at these are the latitudinal lines. These are the latitudinal lines and they are parallel each other, not only parallel to the equator, but they are parallel to each other. So uh, uh, the lines with the latitudinal line, they start from the equator. Equator, this is the central line, which we call the equator. This is which, uh, which is also being called a zero degree line and the equator is a central line which divide the earth in two equal parts so or in two hemisphere in two parts so what does mean uh, uh, into north and south hemisphere so this is the north and this is south so once the lines of latitude crossing through the middle part of the earth it dividing the earth in two parts in two hemisphere one is the north and another the south so lines of latitude start from zero degree at the equator and eights and 90 degree at the north and south. So we start from the zero, this is degree, uh, zero degree. And then we, if we go upward in the north, are we going downward in the south? In both poles, the lines are being extending. Uh, so from zero, then we have 30, 60 and 90. So at the poles, we have a 90 degree. Similarly, in the south poles, we have also 90. So this goes in the, po in, in the positive, this goes in the negative. So we, if we combine both the lines, uh, latitude line, which are in the 90, at the north and 90, at the, the south, so in total, they are 180 degree latitudes. The distance between each degree of latitude is about 69 miles, or uh, you can say 110 kilometers. So the, so the distance between these lines uh, from one to second, for second line, is the 69 miles, as you can say 110 kilometers. But sometimes this distance vary because our earth is not being round, exact round. Our zameen jo goal to hai, magar wo exact goal hai. So is way jase, jo latitudinal difference hai, jo latitudes ka different hai, wo vary karta hai if you go further from equator towards the pole. But the average distance, ek line se dusri line, jo latitude lines hai, Uska average distance is 69 miles to uh, 69 miles and uh, or you can say 110 kilometers. So uh, distance between degree of latitude. Now latitudes are latitudes are parallel. Latitudes are parallel to mostly the distance between each degree remains constant. However, the earth shape is slightly elliptical. They produce a little variation between the degree as we proceed further to the poles from the equator. So what I told you before. Now the distance is constant, uh, but it little vary. If you go further from equator towards the poles, because of the shape, particular shape of the earth. Our shape is elliptical, similar like, similar like, similar like uh, you can say oval or just anda hota, similar like that. So, but uh, uh, it is an obelite form. An obelite form means our earth, earth is been slightly depressed at the poles and also been extend, extend from the equator, from the sides. So sides are thodi khuli hui hai aur upar se thodi si jhuki hui hai. So from, because of that difference, because of that difference of the shape, we have also difference of the, difference of the uh, distance in each uh, coordinate line. So at the equator, the distance is 68.703 miles. At the equator, zero degree line, waha pe 68 hai. 
while tropic of cancer or tropic of capricorn so if you go further tropic of capricorn uh, tropic of cancer in the north tropic of capricorn in south which is 23 and half degree to wahan pe distance change ho jata hai it becomes the 68.94 miles and at the poles the distance is 69 miles uh 69.407 so you see the slight difference in the distance between these lines because these lines also been meter the distance of lines also been meter because the location of any place is determined through latitudes now comes the longitude so longitudes are the line which are running from north to south they are running from north to south uh of the location of any place east to it so when they are been running from north to the south they are giving you the location of any place whether that place in the east or the west so we'll see how so longitudes are also known as meridians longitudes the another name of the longitudes are the meridians so these are these are lines which are called the longitudes longitudes longitude at the same time they are also been called the meridian so these line run from the pole to pole you saw so this is north pole south pole so they are running from poles to pole and uh, the these line run from pole to pole crossing the equator at the right angle so if you look at the, this is the central line which is called the prime meridian uh, uh, which is at the center when it's been crossing it is at, at the 90 degree so there are there are 360 degrees of longitude which divide the world in eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere uh if you look at uh, look at the latitudes we have 180 latitudes 90 and 90 and 90 and and if you if you talk about the longitudes we have a 360 180 and 180 so if when when we divide divide these lines it they will also be in give you give you a portion of uh, the globe having been divided are been parted into two parts or which is called the eastern hemisphere and western hemisphere so this is the central line which is called the prime meridian and so when these li this line run from north to south or south to run it divide the globe or earth in two equal parts so this is the east western part this is the eastern part and totality they are they are 100 they are 360 longitudes uh, line so we start from the 0 30 60 90 120 150 180 and again we have minus 30 minus 60 190 120 minus 150 180 so 180 180 total 1360 so the prime meridian line which passes through the greenwich observatory in england the location agreed upon the conference in 1884 is considered a zero degree line so this is the prime meridian or meridian lines which is at the prime meridian uh, which is at the greenwich uh, greenwich place which is in the england so it was decided in 1884 that this is the central part of earth or central line so they decided in that conference that this is the central line and that they call that line the prime meridian so we call this line the prime meridian meridian so we'll see the distance between degree of longitudes and the latitude they are quite different the variation in longitudes are higher than if you compare with the latitudes latitudes mein variation ho rahi thi unke distance mein between the lines magar wo variation itni zyada nahi thi if you compare with the longitude so we'll see so unlike latitudes the distance between degree of longitude varies greatly depending upon the location of the planet so it has been depending where in which part of the earth you are particularly if you have been talking about the longitude so so the distance of the degree is widest at the equator with 69 miles or you can say 111 km so if you are at the at the equator and if you are calculating the your uh, the longitudes the distance is 69 miles are you there 110 km okay At 45 degrees north or south, the distance between degree longitudes is 49 miles. So look at the distance has been reduced. So if you are at the zero degree equator, the distance between the line is 69 miles. In the other hand, just 9 miles. If you go further in the north or in the south, at 45, for example, 45 degrees, so distance remains becomes the 49 miles. So how much? Chota, chota ho gaya, kam ho gaya. Okay, from 69 become 49, so it means shortened. So if you go further from equator to equator towards the poles, 
the uh, the distance between the longitudes become so narrowing and it becomes zero at the poles while while the distance shrink gradually to zero as the line converge at the poles so jump up when you reach at the poles that distance becomes zero because these lines of longitude they merge together they intersect together they converge so we will see here so look at so if you if you if you, if you are here so these lines if you are here look at if you are here look at the distance being uh, distance being widened so because this is the equator the the distance is wider but if you go further in the north and the south you see the distance is being narrowing so there's a there's a there's a place where these are be intersecting or meeting together where the distance becomes zero so if you are in the poles that will uh, the distance become the zero so the geographic location the, the, the geographic location of any place determined through the coordinates which is composed of degree minutes and second or called dms so if you want to find the location of any place you will have to follow the coordinate system lines of latitude long, longitudes these lines again being composed of uh, are composed of degree minutes and second so uh, what i will going what i will do in in the next lecture uh, we will determine or find the location of any place through uh, through these degrees, minutes, and second by applying the uh, degrees of uh, uh, longitudes and the latitude. So it was all about the longitude latitude, latitude which I, I shortened today's lecture. So I hope you understood what we discussed today. So if you like my videos, please uh, subscribe, comments, and share on them. See you very soon with the next like another lecture.